Well, Carmen, we're just at the beginning of the season and we haven't had any major snow or big winter precipitation events just yet. So they have plenty of salt here in the shed behind me and they also have their trucks loaded up with that salt and ready to go out on the roads. There are about a dozen of these bigger frontline plows ready to go and then about a half a dozen smaller pickup trucks also ready to go on the road. So the town says that they're ready to scale up if necessary. They're going to be keeping a close eye on the forecast and they've already been preparing for the storm. Around lunchtime, I was told that crews started pre-treating the roads. Now this storm is expected to be a little bit on the smaller side. We're not anticipating a huge event, though town officials say that this is really good practice and preparation for the crews, though tonight's forecast does present its own set of challenges. You know, the wintry mix uh, poses some unique challenges because it snows and then it freezes underneath and people might see the snow, but they may not see the ice. And so this is always a good reminder for folks to keep extra distance away from plows. Give yourself a little bit of extra time when you're on the roads tonight and be safe out there. Drive slow. And we just heard from meteorologist Ryan Breton that the storm is expected to be happening kind of in the overnight hours. So hopefully there won't be too many people on the roads. But of course, especially now that we are in the winter season, always a good reminder to take it easy on the roads when we're having any type of winter weather. Live in Vernon, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.